We're here today in the Graduate Student Lab at University of Wyoming, where they are working with the Wyoming Natural Diversity Database researching bees. And specifically, they are researching the western bumblebee. So while historically the population of the western bumblebee has stretched from Alaska to New Mexico, for a variety of reasons its population has continued to decline. So the research that they are doing now is trying to establish the status currently of the western bumblebee in Wyoming. Our native bumblebees are actually considered social bees, meaning that they do form colonies. And the western bumblebee tends to form some of the larger colonies of our native bumblebee species. The western bumblebee nests in the ground and they will typically seek out an old rodent den or other hole that is suitable for their habitation. And they also tend to prefer forested areas and mountainous areas. We should not only consider increasing diversity of plants in our landscape, but also making sure that we have plants blooming from spring to fall to support our native pollinators. So as you're watching the pollinators in your own landscape, if you see a bumblebee with a white tail, that is a western bumblebee. And if you're interested in learning more about this and other pollinators, be on the lookout for classes or citizen science opportunities near you. This has been Caleb Carter with the University of Wyoming Extension, and you're watching from the ground up.